I know that I'd have just gone through sketchbooks and just said, well, this is what I do. I know that Richard wanted something that was very amorphic and soft form. He, he didn't want any sharp lines and like that kind of way that I was working. For those people who've been following the posts I've put up on Selected Works Volume 2, it, it was um, quite a complex sleeve with very little to show for it. On first viewing, they're just rounded off boxes for photographs with these little pie charts in there. But all of these pie charts and the size of the photograph related to the track signatures, how long they were. The 25 tracks had the time code converted into decimal, then the full time for each side, then as a percentage of the total, and then as a degree. That was uh, quite a process. Rich and I were going to clubs a lot, especially knowledge. He was aware that I was a very physical dancer. I mean, really full on. And when he got his first live gig, he just said, well, why don't you come along? Just do what you do at knowledge, but with me on stage. So I went from just dancing in club with 400 people to dancing on a speaker stack in front of 15,000 Germans. <laughs> We were all living basically between Islington and Dalston, Southgate Road. It would have been round about the time that I was working on Selected Ambulance Works Volume 2. All the photographs were done by Richard's girlfriend at the time, Sam. Most of the photographs were from that flat, so things like radiators or bits of metal. That cover, you see all sorts of people saying what they think it might be. Richard with a compass, he'd scratched the logo onto the back of a leather travel case. So Sam took the photograph of that case. Within the music industry, there's a, a freedom and willingness for cutting edge and experimental artwork that you just don't get in most areas of design. I've always had this deep love of dance music, so when you really love what you're designing for, it just makes the process so much better, so much more enjoyable. <laughs>